Where can you hang out with musicians? Discover beautiful architecture and taste this sweet but somewhat fishy local cuisine. It has to be Glasgow. This is my travel bucket list for a day in Scotland's largest city. But don't forget your umbrella. Glasgow is famous for its architecture, both Victorian and modern, and it has a legendary music scene. It's also considered to be one of the world's friendliest cities. Let's go check it out. Tip one for the main things to see, architecture. Most of the city as seen today dates back to the 19th century, which is why Glasgow is renowned for its historical architecture. Some of the most famous examples are the university, as well as the Glasgow City Chambers, as is Calvin Grove Art Museum, one of the most iconic buildings in Glasgow. And the great thing about Scottish museums is that most of them are free. The museum and gallery displays an eclectic mix of art and history, architecture and design. And an impressive concert pipe organ. One of its prized exhibits features the Art Nouveau style of Scottish architect Charles Rennie Mackintosh. He is to Glasgow and Scotland what Antoni Gaudí is to Barcelona and Spain. His so-called Glasgow style includes the famous ladies' tea rooms of the late 19th and early 20th century, which were created as a public space for women. Now it's time to try the local cuisine. So I'm headed to a fish and chip shop, of course. Glaswegians love their fried food, and today I want to try something I've never had before, despite growing up in Scotland. I would really like to try this deep fried Mars bar that I keep hearing things yeah, about. Yeah, sure. So it's my first time trying the Mars bar. Uh -huh. How is it made? Uh, if you want, you can come in and see the process. I discover that the popular Scottish snack is literally just the chocolate bar dipped in batter and fried in oil. Yeah. It's then served with ice cream and chocolate sauce. As if it wasn't already oh, sweet enough. Thank you so much. <laughs> Here we have the deep fried Mars bar that I keep hearing really good things about. Whoa. Actually, it tastes really good. <laughs> Admittedly, it does have a slightly fishy aftertaste though. Now it's time for my must-do, discover Glasgow's music scene. The Ben Nevis pub is one of many in the city that hosts regular live music events. Tonight, this group is getting together to play some traditional Scottish folk music. Luke McNally is a professional musician from Newcastle, but has made a home for himself here in Glasgow. It's a vibe, like when you're walking down the street, like down the main stretch of like Socky Hole Street, for example, you can duck into most bars after midnight and there'll be something happening with live music and it'll be really great or it'll be terrible or it'll be not to your liking, but there's always something happening and it's all dead different. So that's great. Well, the people here really are as friendly as they claim to be. And I've had so many great experiences here in Glasgow. 10 out of 10 would recommend.